Hello, my name is David Chesta, and I'm a senior dev writer on the Office platform team. And I'm going to show a PNP sample that we've released that shows how to insert an external file into uh, an existing worksheet and then populate it with JSON data. So I'm going to go over to Excel and let me just show what this does to start with. I'm going to go to my insert menu and select my add-ins and what i've done is i've already downloaded from the pnp site the manifest for this pnp insert excel file so you'll see the icon there for it so i'll go ahead and add that to my spreadsheet and go to the home tab and we'll see it here so i'm going to go ahead and open the task pane and there's a little bit of uh, help text here for trying it out basically all you need to do is go choose the file that you want to insert so i'll click on that and it opens up File Explorer here, and I'm going to go grab the sales template, which is also in the PNP repo, and open that. And then you'll see that it inserts a table. Uh, it creates this template worksheet. You, just, you can see at the bottom it inserted this. And then uh, I have a table, and then that table was populated with some JSON data. So this is pretty simple. It's uh, just a scenario where if you have a situation where you want to bring in some data or some kind of template from another Excel worksheet and put it into the current one uh, with your add-in, this is how you can do it. So let's take a look at the code. Switch over to Visual Studio Code. And this is the project here. It's basically just an index HTML file. That's the task pane page and then the index.js. So in the HTML, you can see we create this input element, which is where the user's going to go select a file. And then in our index.js file, in our Office on Ready, we basically hook up that element to a change. Uh, we add a change event for it, and it's going to call our insert sheets function. And down here in insert sheets, we're going to get the file name and put that into this my file variable. Then we're going to create a file reader. and we're going to have the file reader open up that uh, file, that spreadsheet that the user selected, and we're going to have an onload event so that when the reader reads it in, it's going to call this function in which we're going to call excel.run because we're going to interact with Excel APIs. We will go into the contents of that file and search for the literal string, base64, because that's where the base64 encoding will be located. Uh, once we've located that, we pull it out into this workbook contents variable. We then go get the current workbook, which is in the office context object. So we go context.workbook and grab that. And the the magic's going to happen here. This is the API. So we're going to call workbook.insert worksheets from base64. And we pass it the base64 content along with these options. Now in this case the options you can see up here we've set them to you, we have, you can specify which sheets do we want to insert. In this case, we're selecting the template sheet that's in there. We can indicate where we want to put it. So we say relative to sheet one, we want to put it after that one. So that's what position type is doing. It's placing it after. So once this is called, we then wait for the context.sync. So that's going to wait until it actually gets inserted. Then we need to insert the JSON data. So we go get the new template worksheet that we just inserted from the current context, uh, current workbook. We go fetch the data.json. This is just a JSON file that's out on GitHub. So we fetch it from there. Um, you know, you could get the JSON uh, from, you know, if you had a service or something, however you want to set that up, doesn't really matter. Once we have the JSON, we then map it into the structure that we want to use for a table, which is product and four quarters. We then go and basically set up a range in that table where we're going to insert all that data. We get that range and we assign the JSON data to the values of that range. And then we activate the sheet so it's visible and we return context.sync. So that's how the JSON data gets inserted. Now something could go wrong, so you want to make sure you have error handling. Uh, a case where this can happen is if you're inserting a worksheet in Excel on the web, and Excel on the web doesn't support every feature that's in a spreadsheet. So for example, if you had a chart, that worksheet will fail and you'll see this error. And the error will indicate that there's an unsupported type in there that can't be inserted. So in that case here, you'd want to add some additional code to basically notify the user, hey, there's something in that worksheet that's not going to work. So you could go do it in desktop and it should work. 
but you wouldn't be able to do it online. So just don't forget about that little piece. Um, and that's pretty much how it works. One more thing to point out is that this sample is also in script lab. If you want to try it there, I've already opened it up here, but like if you just go in the samples and you search for, whoops, not my snippets, so I want samples. And you search for, say, insert, you can see this uh, insert external worksheets. So if you want to try it out right away, you can go here. It's slightly different in that it just passes an empty array when it when you give it the options of sheet names to insert, which basically just inserts all of them. So definitely go take a look at the sample and try it out. You'll notice there's no Yo Office project here. It's just hosted on GitHub. So it's really simple to set up and use. You just have to sideload the manifest. So let me switch back, see if there's any questions. Yeah, hi David, I actually raised my hand. I just want to uh, come uh, learn the feedback from uh, our uh, community. So uh, as uh, David just demos, uh, when insert, uh, when call this API, insert work, uh, worksheets, the worksheet will be activated. Uh, so this is our current behavior. So we receive some of the feedback say they, they don't want to activate the, the, the sheets that newly added. So what's your what's your opinion with that, whether that is uh, we should activate as current behavior or we should not activate it? Does anyone have any feedback on that? Andy has has a hand up there. I would prefer not to activate the sheet. We do use uh, hidden sheets and we would rather not activate the sheet once we create it. And have that be optional. Got That's it. my Got personal it. opinion. Got it. Great. Thank you. Yeah, you uh, it makes sense. OK, thank you. Thank you, Andy. I agree That's with the awesome. previous speaker. OK, I, I, all right. Another a vote for, for for not activating. Got it. OK, cool. Give, give um, um, yeah. Vote for not activating. Got it, got it. Yes. Sounds like not activating okay. is winning. <laughs> <laughs> OK, OK, I see. Uh, yeah, yeah, because because uh, we we internally have a very hot debate, so we so uh, we, this if you actually preview for two years is activated, but uh, we receive some feedback say do not activate it, and I want to verify uh, whether we should not activate it. So uh, it seems like today we got answer. Okay. Thank you, thank you very are, much. Are there any for your hands feedback? that think we should activate? I'll just ask it that way. And so if I see a, a hand up, I'll assume maybe you think it should be activated after this API call. Um, Vit. I'm just I, curious if, if I remember correctly, there is a select sheet, right, where you can activate a sheet. Yeah. Correct. Correct. Yes. And yeah, so that's why I go with non activated right? and then. Exactly. That yeah. was my point that I can activate it using different API. So, so for not activating, definitely. Got it. Got it. Thank you. Thank you very okay. much. That makes sense.